Hey everyone out there, this is Jared with PDI. Hey, today we want to talk a little about our dual cooler. There's been some noise out in the field about different applications, how different product works, but I, I really want to break down today on our YouTube channel on how this actually dual cooler was designed and for what reasons. Uh, as we talk about it, as you can see, it came with the casting. It's got two cooling packs. It's got a cooling line in between it that runs from cooling pack to cooling pack that, that is immersed into water. Uh, then it runs a thermostat that's actually machined specifically to our cooler. So when we first put this together, we uh, designed it and tested it for two years. So the things I want to talk about is the most important part is there's some noise out there on maybe just taking the thermostat out, maybe lowering the oil temperature thermostat of when it opens or partially open, but I want to talk about that today extensively on why that does not work. First of all, taking the thermostat out has never worked in any application or letting oil run through or water run in through any cooling system at all. So that being said, uh, the reason why you can't just cool it as much as you can. So first off, what are we gonna do in the winter? The engine is set to run at a certain efficiency. So if there's no thermostat in it to keep it open and closing to actually produce the right oil temperature when the engine's the most efficiency, you can't do that with just an open thermostat or a sleeve or many things that are out there. So uh, we've designed this and you know, when we first put it together, yeah, we had some issues in the actual time where R&D and never out in the market that way but we at first we had a bigger oil cooler and we were pushing the oil through the cooling packs too fast which did not give it time to cool. Uh, one advantage over this cooling pack is is there's almost 45 percent more efficiency and cooling pack depth that sits in the water over a factory OE cooler. And that's where the cooling efficiency can come from. You just can't take the thermostat out and think that the cooling pack is going to work better. It's made to work when it gets up to temperature to close off when it, when it gets too cold outside or the oil temperature gets too cold, it closes it off. So there's two things to think about. So if you're always open and more or less in bypass mode, are you going to be in the middle of the winter with a very cold temperature not operating up and your oil is not going to be ran through the oil filter correctly? Are we going to have a ton of oil pressure because it's not being thermostatically controlled? Ultimately, like I say, the reason this was developed is high temperature on the X15, ISX15 and clear down to the original signature series ISX's. So ultimately we've added more plates, more cooling capacity, but also the plate design is different. Yes, Cummins did originally have a dual cooler set up on their heavy haul engines back in 2003 to 2008 on their 870 engines, but they had a different cooling pack design. It was made out of a different material. It did not have this depth. The packs were about this long on each side, but also they used the old style packs that did not have the efficiency rate of pushing the water through them. And they weren't gaining much temperature drop of just having one cooler. That's why Cummins Engine Company went to one cooler.